Well, if you are still recovering from holiday spending, maybe cooking at home could save you a few bucks. Yeah, not to mention it's always healthier when you cook at home, right, Brad? Yes, it is, and very smart too. Saves you money, and that's where great news comes in because they have you know some great things for you to use at home, but also great classes, cooking classes, so important. And that's where Executive Chef Catherine comes in, who I love to see because she always shows me something really cool and neat. And this thing right here, I'm telling you, this is awesome because people are having to get out to work. Kids need to get to school and everything like that. You don't have time to make a big meal very quickly, but. This right here is so amazing. It is amazing. This is made by a company called La Quay. They're out of Spain. This is all very, very high quality. It is made of silicone. It can go in the microwave or in the oven, up to 400 degrees in the oven. And the best part about it is it's so easy to use and very easy to clean. You don't have to use a lot of fat product to it so that um, what's being cooked is really about the steam and the moisture that's in the food or what's added to the the food. So you can make an omelet over here. You can make risotto, believe it or not. You can also make pasta, um, you know, just any kind of starchy thing like that. You can also do things like fish, chicken. Uh, you can poach. You can steam. Any kind of uh, effort like that will really be simplified. And the way we go about making the omelet here is we don't really need our little steamer tray, so we're going to remove that. We've got water uh, and a little bit of milk and some eggs, two eggs here. And to this, we're going to add a bit of baking powder. That's just going to give a bit of lift to this recipe. And for that, you want to go ahead and season as you wish with whatever type of pepper, salt you would like to use. Pour that right into the steamer. You're going to steam this by closing and making sure that everything is sealed. Pop it into the microwave for about 30 seconds. When it comes out, open it up, and you're going to then put whatever toppings you want over the top. It'll be about halfway cooked at that point. We've got uh, bacon, mushrooms, and uh, cheddar mm. cheese here, but then you'll close it back up, 30 more seconds, and then your omelet is ready. Fold it up, place it on the plate, and it looks gorgeous, right? right? And this is so great. This is actually cool for kids to use, too, because mom and dad there, you know, they actually they can show them, put it in there, and they, kids know how to use the microwave very easily, making popcorn or anything like that. So exactly. they can actually cook their meal right here they while mom can, and dad are at work and getting home. They can absolutely do that. They're not using the cooktop at that point. The only thing is just to be taking a little bit of care that when you open this up with a hot product that there is some steam. So, you know, it's just a little care there. I love it. All For right. the salmon, we've this got this awesome. gorgeous piece of salmon here that I've seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of topping of julienne vegetables, and a small pat of butter just for a tiny bit of, uh, you know, richness, and then just a splash of dry vermouth. Mm -hmm. And then again, we close this up. And it's extra splash of vermouth. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Extra splash of vermouth. We mm -hmm. do have that perforated insert, so that's going to be more of a steaming effort here. Once we close it up into the microwave, and depending on the power of your microwave, it may take anywhere from four to ten minutes. I love that thing. That is so cool. We come back, we got some more cooking tips. And you know, David and Alexis, again, kids are getting back to school, mom and dad going to work, and needing to, of course, get those meals done. Some easy things we're doing. Cooking classes here have started up. All you need to do is go to uh, the Great News website. They have their cookbook, all kinds of stuff going on, so kind of cool. Hey, uh, back to you guys in my Notre Dame. Uh, <laughs> let's just make sure we get this straight. All right. I did attend, so let's let's make sure. Holy Cross Junior College, uh -huh. St. Mary's, and Notre Dame are all on one big campus. Okay. okay. Because I played ice hockey, I fully couldn't go into Notre Dame. I went to Holy Cross Junior College, and then I was taking classes at Notre Dame, kind of like Rudy. Uh -huh. And so I, I still have my, I, I should know we paid the money there, so. There you go. So, yes, there today it is. it is. And I'm going to bring out the sweater that I wore back in 1989 for that national championship Great. 24 years ago. Uh, today is when we'll bring home again yeah, you, another championship. You might want to wear it early. So, oh, man, Dave, <laughs> do we need to? What, I know what, he's what, being what mean to you today, here? Brad. We, <laughs> uh, say it again. He's just being mean today. I'm sorry. No, he is. I'm you sorry. know, and I'll tell you where we're going to be nice. watching the game. So they come down, all the Notre Dame fans come mm -hmm. down and hang out with us while we watch the big game. So Very we'll talk cool. about that coming up a little bit. All right. All right. Go Irish. We want to see your, yeah, your best <laughs> Notre Dame cheer in a little bit, Brad. <laughs>